All right, thank you for allowing us to present our data. Um, our disclosure is both uh, Dr. Hagen and Dr. O serve as physician proctors for thoracic robotic surgery. So lung cancer, as we know, is the leading cause of cancer due, uh, death, or death due to cancer in the United States, with approximately 40% of patients being over the age of 75 at the time of diagnosis. Surgical lobectomy remains the most effective treatment for lung cancer based on oncologic outcomes as well as cost-effective analysis. Unfortunately, elderly patients are about 30% less likely to be referred for surgical resection compared to their younger cohorts. And then this leads to a likelihood of surgical resection declining by about 65% for each decade of life over the age of 65. The alternative is patients are undergoing stereotactic radiotherapy, and this is becoming popular because it's an outpatient procedure and can be performed minimally invasively. However, the long-term oncologic outcomes, as well as um, prospective studies looking at surgery versus SBRT are still largely unknown, and we're waiting for those results. So what we want to do is assess the perioperative outcomes of lobectomy for lung cancer in patients 75 years or older, and then additionally to review the impact of the robotic lobectomy on these outcomes. We did a retrospective chart review of all patients undergoing lobectomy from 1998 till 2013 for lung cancer. Um, since May of 2011, all of our lobectomies have been performed robotically. We use a three-arm robot technique with a um, completely port-based approach. All patients also underwent a mediastinal lymphadenectomy during the time of operation. And then we analyzed the pre-op as well as the perioperative uh, variables for these patients. So overall, there was 136 patients that underwent lobectomy, 94 of them were under the age of 75, and then 42 were 75 years or older. Um, they were very similar for their comorbidities, except for in the area of coronary artery disease and cardiac arrhythmia, both, both of which were significantly higher in the elderly patients, as expected, with similar ASA classes. The uh, pathologic tumor findings were similar between the two. They were staged, or they had similar stages between the two groups. Their tumor sizes were similar at about a median of three centimeters, and they had similar incidence of N1 and N2 disease. Um, interestingly, there um, was about an overall 17% rate of unsuspected lymph nodes, both N1 and 2, N2, and these are the patients that would be of concern if they were to undergo SBRT. Now comparing the perioperative outcomes for the younger group versus the elderly group, uh, the younger group had a significantly shorter ICU stay by a median of one day, but they did have similar overall hospital stay. And our hospital stay does reflect the large amount of thoracotomy patients that um, was included in this group. We looked at the complications based on the Sealy thoracic morbidity and mortality complication grading system. And looking at this, there was a significantly higher instance of minor complications in the elderly group. However, over half of these were attributed to easily to manage benign atrial fibrillation, and they had similar rates of major complications between the two groups. The mortality rate was also only 2% and similar between the younger and elderly patients. There was a higher tendency for the elderly patients to require nursing care postoperatively, as well as requiring to go to a nursing care facility as well. So now looking at just the elderly patients, out of the 42 elderly patients, 19 underwent robotic resection and 23 had a thoracotomy. Um, comparing the two, the resection time for the robotic um, group was significantly longer. However, this is our entire cohort and we've actually, with time and experience, our resection time has dropped by about 30 minutes. Um, so it's getting a little bit closer to our open uh, resection time. And then the robotic group did have a significantly less um, blood loss, however, not clinically significant. Um, what was clinically significant was the drop in the chest tube duration, ICU stay, and hospital stay, all which dropped by about 50% um, in the robotic group. And then the complications, both minor and major, um, did not differ between the group. They were similar in both groups. Our mortality was also similar between the robotic and the <coughs> open group. There was a slight trend towards the thoracotomy patients requiring nursing care postoperatively and requiring a nursing facility, with only one robotic patient having to go to a nursing care facility post-op. Um, in conclusion, we feel that lobectomy in patients 75 years or older um, is feasible and safe. Um, our mortality rate was only 2% in both the young and the elderly group, and interestingly, this is lower than the mortality rate for general anesthesia in a group of patients 75 years or older. We did have a higher incidence of morbidity in the elderly group. Um, however, again, it was attributable to benign, easily manage, manageable atrial fibrillation. 
and our robotic technique resulted in a significantly faster recovery. They were, about to, they were able to go home about 50% faster than the open group. Um, what is of concern for the SBRT is there was a 17% rate of occult nodes, so these patients would remain understaged if they had, under, if they had, had radiation treatment. And so we think that elderly patients should not be denied resection based on age alone. These patients should be presented in a multidisciplinary care uh, setting, and they should be discussed on an individual basis um, if they should get surgery or SBRT or what would be the most ideal treatment for, for these patients. Thank you.